Alright, so this is a follow-up to the last video on this, well, you know, moderator situation. And pff, I'm here to talk about it more because th this it's gotten kind of worse with the videos people are making because I don't think they really understand the whole thing because they, they, it's kind of biased. I'm, I'm going to talk about that in a second. I just want to say don't send hate to Antoka or Buzztoka or whatever channel it is. Don't go in the Discord asking them about it because they'll probably ban you. That's what I've heard. Or Antoka will. So just don't go in the Discord talking about it. Just just don't do that. It's, they, they, they don't like taking criticism, okay? But if you haven't watched the last video, a quick summary of this is that... Well, okay, here we go. Antoka made a video where he's banning homophobes in the Pride update. He finds a kid with the name Turn to God in the Pride update, and the kid said... I'm just like, don't, I'm, I think he said I'm not a big fan of it or something. And then he said, like, well, womp, womp. And then Antoka went over and showed him the stick, and the kid disconnected, and Antoka reported the kid, and he probably got banned. Now, here's, here's the clip for the whole thing. This is just like, that was just my guess, but here's the actual video for, like, the video evidence people. Okay, what's Which the back... Are you? You're white, right? Uh, yeah, I'm George, right here. Yeah. Okay, so what's the backstory behind your name? So, basically, everybody... Let, let, let's give it straight, right? Everybody was... Everybody holding up the pride signs, right? Yeah. They were saying, I believe in pride, I believe in pride, right? Yeah, 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 womp womp. And... And I just changed my name because... Okay. I believe that's... That's wrong. Okay, so, because you believe it's wrong because God forbid it. That's why. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Hang on. I want to show you something. Follow me. Being homophobic is not cool, you know. Now, I made a video about this before. There's a, there's a lot more people who made videos about it as well, but I'm, I'm here to talk about it a lot more because people are not understanding this at all. Now, this received a lot of backlash from the community when people found this out because they were assuming. Now, I was also a big fan of the Pride Update and I'm also not very happy about homophobes. I mean, I'm by myself in case you had Dorney, you know that. I mean, I thought it was pretty obvious. Come on, look at my name. I'm not actually on anyone's side in this because this is all like, this is all pretty messed up. So, let's go to the start of the video when Antoka saw the Turn to God kid. Now, the thing is, Turn to God can be seen as uh, offensive. Now, putting your name Turn to God, it, you could be saying that you're forcing it onto others, or you're trying to force it, and I can guarantee your argument's gonna be, well, the Pride update's also forcing it onto people, but the thing is, you're choosing to play Gorilla Tag when the Pride update is out. That is your choice, you don't have to play Gorilla Tag, so you're choosing to play Gorilla Tag during the Pride update and make that your name. I wouldn't say Gorilla Tag is forcing it either, they're kind of just like showing it around, because they're not forcing you to wear any Pride cosmetics, that's just your choice, and a lot of people did not like that. A lot of people did not, that was not their choice. And Womp Womp and all those other kind of offensive things. Now this is what I think got Antoka mad. Because what Antoka did was he went out and he showed the kid the stick and said, it's not okay to be homophobic. And honestly, I think that kid was being homophobic with that name. But then Antoka went over and reported him. Now if you don't know, Mater is in Gorilla Tag. When they report people, their report weight counts as a lot more than just one. And usually the band team, or the, um, the report team can see that. They can see the moderators reporting them, I would assume. And they probably banned that kid, I'm gonna be honest. So that kid was probably banned. I hope it was only for two weeks and not four, because that ban was not just. So as much as it sounds like I'm siding with Antoka this, I'm not. Because as as the, the kid's name was Turn to God, right? And he did say Womp Womp. But he did not deserve to be banned for that. He deserved to have to go change his name. He deserved like a warning. Go change your name. And I don't know why the kid left. I think the reason, if the kid didn't leave, maybe he wouldn't have gotten reported by Antoka. But I don't know why the kid left. The kid dessert the kid should have had to go change his name because that is still like pretty the name is kind of i don't know about that because saying turn to god on a pride update that you're choosing to play i don't know about that now the reason i'm making this video is because on my for you page on youtube i've been seeing a lot of videos of people saying like this, well, let's put this video up. i saw this video this person saying like antoka banned a kid for his beliefs this is not at all what happened this is stupid and this is, this is lying because the kid was spreading his beliefs in a forceful way while playing Gorilla Tag in the Pride update that he's choosing to play. So I wouldn't say he got banned for his beliefs. I would say he got banned for forcing his beliefs. But once again, he still shouldn't have gotten banned. That was pretty bad. There's a couple other videos like 
and Toko was abusing his power, which I'll kind of agree with if he got- If the kid didn't get banned, that's okay. But if the kid got banned, it's still like- And Toka still reported him. The explanation of a lot of these videos are uh, a little under- uninformed. That's why I'm making this, because you guys know me that I can make videos like this, and I make videos on all the news and all the drama and all that. But of course, I'm always gone when there's like actual dr like like whenever everyone got banned in Gorilla Tag. Of course, that happened when I was at goddamn camp. I could. Now, I will honestly say, this could be mod abuse. This this is really. I I think maybe they should take Antoka's stick away for like a week or like a little bit. But they don't. He he doesn't deserve to get completely removed from the program for making one mistake. Cause that kid wasn't like forcing it onto others, but his name was still turned to God. So I think he was trying to. But Antoka took that the wrong way. I think when the kid said womp womp, that's what like triggered Antoka to do that. Well, you want to be in the video? <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, okay, I didn't think someone would guess it. Well, okay, subscribe to Savage. Yep, boy. exactly. So people making videos on this are really uninformed and making it sound like really incorrect because that's not the kid did not get banned for his beliefs. The kid got banned for like trying to force his beliefs. Now, I'm assuming 99% of these types of videos are made by Christians. I mean, I'm not religious, and I'm not siding with anyone, so that's kind of done. This kid was playing Guerrilla Attack during the Pride update, knowingly doing that, and then chose to make his name that. So it's his choice to do that. Yeah, the kid shouldn't have gotten banned for it, but he deserved a warning and to have to change his name. Okay. Now, it's not only that, but I've also heard about reports that in the GTAG Discord server, when people talk to him, and when people talk to Intoka, then they get banned from the GTAG Discord server for talking about it. Which, if there really are, if there's proof of that, then that's really, like, sensitive from the Gorilla Tag community. Knowing that they're just banning people who just want to, like, ask questions and crap. So that is really not okay. And where the- Gorilla Tag's moderation has never really been the best. I remember those reports of Electronic Wall abusing power sometimes. I don't think- I don't know about that. I didn't really go into that. But people have reported me that. People have said that, like, other moderators have done stupid things. But TTD Pig is really one of the good ones. I think RJ The Shade is also a really good one. So if there are any Gorilla Tag moderators watching this, don't ban me, please. I'm just speaking my opinion. And the truth. I'm actually speaking the truth. That kid did not deserve to get banned over this. He deserved to have to take his name off. I don't even know if he got banned. I'm like, I'm 99% sure he did. But there's, there's a chance he didn't if the Gorilla Tag mod team saw it. But yeah. um, Everyone watching this, please subscribe. Tell me in the comments what I should make a video about next. Or join the Discord. That's If you join the Discord and then tell me what you think I should make a video about next, that's when I usually see them. So if there's drama I don't know about, then I will I will make a video about it. And I will, I will mention you in the video too. That's what I did for Frosty. He told me about the video yesterday. So, uh, yeah, like the video, subscribe, join the Discord, and, um, how about you have a nice day? How about that? I want everyone here, have a nice day, okay? I'm uploading this at, like, 4 or 5 or 6, so it's not really gonna be the day, it's gonna be, like, the evening.